Okay, in this uh, video, I'm going to introduce you the elimination method in simultaneous equation through a few examples. So first of all, uh, just recap that simultaneous equation means right that you've got two equations and you will be given a two equations. And because you are given two equations, you got two algebra to find. So usually the algebra is X and Y. Okay, so you are having two equations and within the two equations, there are two algebra that you're supposed to solve for values. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, when you are doing this, right, uh, I will say that label the two equations first. So label the two equations. So remember to label them first. Usually I will label them as equation one, equation two. So if you look, that's how I label equation one, equation two. That means, right, as you label, you should be aware that these are the two equations and within the two equations, there are two unknown for you to find. Okay, and it will be best if your equation will be something like this format. It will be best when your equation is like this format. That means you try to organize in such a way that it's always x first, then y, then number. So if you look at the structure, it's x, y, and number. x, y, then number. So if you standardize it, it also helps you the, to roll out the elimination method clearly. So that means on the left side, it will be the algebra side. And on the right side, it will be the number side. So we try to have the equation in such a format. If let's say the equation doesn't give this kind of format, you can rearrange yourself. Okay, so whatever is it, we will like the format to be x, y equal to a number. So after you label, uh, how do you know what to eliminate? So you look for same algebra. You try to look for same algebra. So you will try to see whether uh, x and 2x, they are not the same. So you are trying to look for same algebra. So 2x and x are not the same. So in fact, what I have is 3y and 3y are the same, except that it is a plus minus. So it is okay that it is a plus minus as long as it's 3y and 3y. Okay, so 3y and 3y. So, you, so in this case, I, I should eliminate 3y. Okay, so how are we going to el eliminate? So here the, is the key idea. We are going to eliminate through the adding or subtracting the equations. Okay, so that means, right, we are either doing something like one plus one, uh, sorry, one plus two, or one minus two. So whichever can get rid of what you want to get rid of. Okay, so after you label the equation, you got to decide who to eliminate. Which algebra to eliminate. Okay, so in this case, I decide 3y will be eliminated because it's same algebra. Then after that, you got to decide whether should you add the equation or should you subtract the equation. So a lot of students, right, uh, if you do not have the idea or you do not have the sense, you'll find that you always stuck at this step. Okay, so if you want to take a look, right, for me, right, this is how I check. So this is positive 3y. The other one is negative 3y. So how can I make it 0? How can I make it 0y? So you think about it. How can I make it a zero? Right? Because I want to eliminate. Eliminate means it becomes a zero. So I should do a plus. If you take a look, 3y plus minus 3y will be 3y minus 3y. And that gave me a zero y. So in this case, I should be doing an addition. So in this case, I'll be doing an addition. So if I decide to do an addition, how should I go about doing it? I should do a left side 
the algebra side, adding the algebra side. So can you take a look? The algebra side, adding the algebra side. And then the number, adding the number side. So once you decide that you are going to add them up, so you do the algebra side plus the algebra side. That means the left side plus left side, right side plus right side. And while you are doing, you will find that your 3y and your 3y will disappear. And you are left with 3x. So 3x equal to 9, I think it's quite easy. So if you can reach this stage, you're almost there already. But there are some students who uh, got stuck here. They will be like, oh, I forgot how am I supposed to find the next algebra. So you can put it either here or you put it either here to find the next algebra. So what I did was I put it in number two. So I put it in number two. That means in the second equation, I changed this to a three. So that's how I gotten this. Then from there, I solve like a set one uh, equations and I'll get y equal to a minus one. So in this case, I eliminate 3y because 3y is the same algebra. Okay, so we're gonna try the same idea on another question. So again, if you take a look, I label the equation first. After I label, I got to decide which one to eliminate. So I need to look for same algebra. So this time around, 2x is the same algebra. So I will be eliminating 2x. So you think about 2x and 2x, both are positive. So if both are positive, the only way is to subtract, then you will get a 0x. So I'm going to do a subtraction. So I'm going to do an equation 1 minus equation 2. Of course, you can still do an equation 2 minus equation 1. It doesn't matter. Okay, so you need to decide that you're going to subtract first. So again, I'm going to do the left side. Subtracting another left side. So left side subtracting the left side, the algebra side subtracting the algebra side. Okay, when you subtract, please remember your bracket. Because you actually got a minus one to multiply into the bracket. So you will get a negative, you will get a positive. Okay, so if you do a subtraction in your elimination and you forgot to put a bracket, you most probably you got everything wrong because you will have a sign error. Okay, so do remember to put a bracket if you are doing a subtraction in your elimination. So uh, from here, you should find that 2x disappear and you are left with 3y, 5y which become 8, 1. So if you are subtracting the algebra side, you also subtract the number side. So from there, I can find my y. So again, if let's say you have found your y through the elimination of 2x, the next one will be some students, again, they, they can find one algebra. So if let's say you are stuck here, you will put it in either one of them. So you put it back in either one of them. So for me, I choose to put it in number two. So I put it in number two, meaning the Y in number two will change to one. Then from there, I do the linear equation like set one and I can find my X. Okay, so that is the basic idea of elimination. So you look for same algebra. Okay, so you look for same algebra, then you can eliminate. So you try to understand this idea first. Subsequently, right, I will be showing you what if you do not have same algebra.